Well, hello everybody and welcome to the swag tutorial. I am so excited to be here. My name is Tracy Vinson, aka The Mobile Manicurist, and uh, this is a wonderful month to do a collaboration uh, with the Profiles Girls. Um, I love the product. I'm actually a distributor myself for the Profiles brand, and uh, I just wanted to show you what you're getting in your swag this month. Each of you will get a BB gel. BB gel is um, a beefed up base coat. It does not need a base coat. It technically is a base coat um, and it's only come in clear before and now we have it in four different nudes. Now, I don't know which one you got in your swag, but these are the four colors just in case you wanna see that. Semi pink cover-up, semi-nude, and spun sugar. So I'm actually going to swatch all four of these for you guys so you can see the difference in uh, these colors. So you would have gotten one of those, like I said. Um, you also got the super polished top coat. Now this is a no wipe top coat. Um, the thing I love most about this top coat, you guys, is it's stain resistant. So if you have those uh, people that do hair or maybe they use uh, self tanner, whatever the case might be that uh, their nails tend to get that little bit of stain on it, um, this is a great option for that. The next item that you received is called Diamond Dust. Now let me show you this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not meant uh, to be top coated. If you top coat this, it's gonna lose its luster, its glitteriness. Um, you see how tiny it is even on my skin? This is made to sugar with, and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. That's why you were given this top coat. These two have to be married per se. Um, and, and I'll explain that when we get there, okay? So that's your diamond dust. You also received a pack of three detail brushes. Don't you love the color on these? And look what's on the end. You get little dotting tools on the end. So each color has a different size dotter on it. Sometimes you can never find a dotting tool that's small enough. Look at that. That's fabulous. I guess that's the tiniest one. Small, medium, and large, but even the large one is tiny. Honey, it's kind of like my clothes in my closet. They big, bigger, and biggest. All right, focus, Tracy, focus. So our uh, brushes on the end, let's talk about these because they come packed with uh, some cornstarch in it. Do you see that? It's like it's got hairspray in it. They package them like that so the bristles don't go all wonky during shipping. Um, the easiest way to deal with that is to take your fingernail and just lightly break that cornstarch out of there. You're going to see your, your brushes kind of fray apart as you get that out. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to keep those together. While they look all wonky, they're not. I'm going to show you what to do uh, to condition your brushes before we start anything. So let's get started and get our brushes prepped first. I want you to take a little bit of the top coat that you um, received in the swag. If you have a palette, just put it out on there, a business card, whatever you use. I got in a habit of using business cards when I was mobile uh, for my painting palettes because I could just toss it. Often I didn't have a place to clean up and so I have kept with that habit um, of doing so. So now take your brush. You don't wanna do this kind of thing and ruin those brush hairs. You wanna lay it down and roll your brush through that top coat. Just roll it out. This is how I clean my brushes. I clean every brush I own in um, top coat. Now look at the difference in that brush. Look what a nice point it came to. So we're gonna do that on all three brushes and get these prepped and ready to use. Okay, first and foremost, I have prepared 
four full cover nail tips for you. Um, by prepared, I mean I've just taken the shine off of them. Normally, I use a clear adhesive to attach these with, but I decided to use the blue um, tacky. That way you can see how opaque the gels are or how uh, sheer they are. And for some of you, that's real important when you're um, looking to add different things to your collection. Um, you may be looking for a cover pink and then you get it in and it's it's a translucent pink and it wasn't exactly what you needed. So I figure that's a good way to show you um, the opacity of the gel. This one we have is called Cover Up. Very nice opacity. The viscosity of this reminds me of a rubber base gel. Um, it is thicker than a base coat, but it's not as thick as what a builder gel would be. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. Now, um, working on a human, if I were using this on a real client, I would probably do two thin coats of this rather than one thick coat just because I want to be sure my gels cure all the way through. And sometimes gels that are coverage gels like these need to be put on uh, thinner to start with and do two thin coats rather than a thick coat because you don't want gel that's under cured or that did not cure. You can see that's one thin coat and it almost covered up uh, the blue tack that's underneath it. Now because I'm using a full cover tip, let me just feather this to the back of my uh, tip here. And this is a self-leveling gel. You don't have to worry about bumps or bruises. And obviously on a human, you're gonna have their body heat that's gonna help level that out even more. So once you are happy with that coverage, then go ahead and pop this in the lamp. Now, while that's in the cooker, let's move on to semi-pink. Uh, these are 60 second cures, you guys, in your uh, LED lamps. But again, I always tell everybody to test your lamp ahead of time. Um, it could be that your lamp takes a few seconds longer. You might need 90 seconds. It doesn't mean that your gel isn't working. It just means your nail cure, your your nail lamp is curing at a different speed than what mine does. Really pretty, very self-leveling. Couple things that you can um, do with this gel. This, this gel has a great flexibility to it. Um, I would recommend this, especially those of you that do a toenail repair. As long as you seal this with a hard gel sealer, such as Outshine, uh, you can use this for your toenail repair. Beautiful color. Let's move on to semi-nude. Now this gel is perfect for overlay on natural nails because it soaks off. Uh, or you can just file it and fill it in. Doesn't matter. Either or. Uh, maybe your client is one of those clients that insists on having tips put on. Maybe they don't want you to sculpt their nails. You can use this over tips. And hey, it's already tinted. So it saves you from those clients who always want to wear nude. This saves you from gel polishing them. This is going to be a huge, huge time saver. And this one is called Spun Sugar. Ooh, I love this. Now you can see the sponge sugar is a little bit more translucent because you're seeing a lot of that blue tack underneath uh, this nail. There we go. All right, that's coat one on everything. Let's go with a second coat. Now the first one we did, this is called Cover Up. And truly this is a true cover pinky beige uh, cover gel. 
I would say probably this one is going to be the most universal in uh, color. If you want something to match everybody's skin tone, get this one. Okay, so the second one we did was semi-pink. And it looks like with this second coat that we're going to get um, a full coverage on that as well. Now we're going back into semi-nude, and this nude is translucent. You're going to see through that just a little bit. It's not fully opaque. Basically, we've got two opaque shades and two translucent shades. Transparent, whatever you want to call it. I am loving this one. If if you um, have done nails for a while, you know that the longer you do nails, do you feel like the worse your eyesight gets? Yeah. Um, BB gel comes in clear as well, but if you have trouble seeing clear, I would go with this one. This is like a clear with a little pink tint to it. All right, as you can see on my lovely model here, I have all four of those swatched and on her fingers. Again, I'll go over the colors. This is Cover Up, Semi Pink, Semi Nude, Spun Sugar. Now, don't worry if your BB gel has a different label on it. Uh, all the labels have been updated. Um, it's a new look, but it's the same um, strong, buildable coverage that you had before. Before this only came in clear. The clear is the same formula, just a new label, okay? Let's do some artwork. Now, I'm gonna sugar right over top of this. Um, it's so important. I talked about earlier uh, the top coat to work with the sugaring. Um, you want a no white top coat, first of all, because if when you sugar, you're not going to top coat, remember that. Um, this diamond dust is going to stay all diamondy on there. Um, and if your top coat has a tacky layer in it, it's going to be a mess because there's no way you can wipe it off in between all of this. So that's why we put this in your swag this month. So let's just do a nice even coverage. Now in that wet layer, Let's scoop up the diamonds. Make sure you get it all over. Good deal. Double check your sidewalls, make sure you got it everywhere. Oops, I missed a spot over here. When you get old like me and you have to look through bifocals and through a camera screen, haunty. There we go. Now, let's put this in the lamp. I want you to cure this for 60 seconds. Anytime you are sugaring, which means that you have put a dry product into a wet product, you always want to cure that at least 60 seconds. So let's get in the lamp. Look how gorgeous. It's the perfect velvety texture. It's not rough like a chunky glitter would be. All right, let's do a little art. I'm gonna go back to my palette here and I'm going to put this top coat down, the super polished top coat. But just so you can see on camera how this is gonna work, let's put a matte top coat over this. I'm using uh, Profiles Magic Matte, and this will be easier for you to see on camera because shiny against shiny is almost impossible to view. So if we do this matte and then paint our design in shiny, you can see it better. And probably I can too. All right, here we go.
All right, let's sugar. But oh, she's going to be beautiful when she comes out of the lamp. Because technically the sugar is only going to stick to the wet gel. Ready? Are you ready? Oh, honey, yes. Get into it with your little stiff brush here. Get all of that extra out. Now, this does not get a top coat. Don't you do it. Mm -mm, don't put a top coat on there. Nice. All right, beauties, there you have it. All four colors of BB gel. If you just caught the tail end of this, back up your video because I show you all four shades. I've also shown you how to sugar and how to do uh, some designs with your top coat here.